Ukrainian forces can help fight terrorism. Mr. President, I'd like to express the most sincere words of condolence and support to the relatives of those killed and wish a speedy recovery to those who were injured. Well, U.S. Secretary of State uh, John Kerry is in Moscow. He's met with Russia's uh, foreign minister. They've been paying joint tribute to the victims of that attack in Nice. They've laid flowers at the French embassy. They've also signed a book of condolences and pledged to fight against global terrorism. And the reason John Kerry is in Moscow, according to press reports, is that the Obama administration is seeking to team up with Russia in the ongoing huge operation against terrorist groups in Syria. Murugazi has been following that top-level meeting all day for us. There is a lot at stake. Reportedly, they're uh, trying to build uh, an alliance, so to speak, a partnership, security partnership, cooperation between Russia and the United States uh, in Syria, something that has been lacking. It's been very uh, difficult to establish much cooperation uh, between the two. But undoubtedly, what happened uh, in Nice will push them uh, will push them further on that track. It is absolutely paramount to unite together, join forces to combat this terror. Our dialogue has become even more relevant in the light of the horrible terror attack in Nice. And they've got a, a lot to get through, really. They have to agree on who the terrorists are, there are disagreements there, uh, where they're located, on how to combat them, what sort of weapons to use, how to avoid accidents uh, for political reasons that is uh, very hard to achieve. But you know, with these terror attacks happening again and again and again, questions uh, are being asked. Why is the Syrian crisis uh, being allowed to continue? Of course, not all the attackers in Europe and elsewhere uh, are coming from Syria. Not all of them have been in Syria, but the ideology, uh, it is being nurtured. It is being evolved and exported out of Syria by the various uh, jihadist groups there, ISIS, Al-Qaeda, other ones. Uh, and uh, John Kerry also said, uh, you know, how many times can you apologize? The problem is that you and I and other foreign ministers and leaders of countries are now doing this almost on a weekly basis. And I think people all over the world are looking to us and waiting for us to find a faster and more tangible way of them feeling that uh, everything that is possible is being done uh, to end this terror scourge 